the Blazer 675 Ultimate Bay. With an overall length of 22 feet, a beam of 8 feet 4 inches, and max horsepower rating of 250. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the Blazer Bay. It's a 675 Ultimate Bay. Where does the 675 come from? Well, a lot of other builders use feet. They use centimeters. It's just a way to differentiate this boat from the rest of their line because they build a whole line of bay boats. I'm assuming they put this kind of name on it to make it stand out, and it absolutely does stand out from the rest of their boats. It does stand out. What they've done is blend a bay boat and a flats boat. They did a lot of really neat things I like about flats boats. You can run the gunnels. They've got big, flat gunnel surfaces big casting platform up front makes it really easy to fight a fish, but it doesn't have as much wetted surface as a bay boat does. If you really want to go a little deeper into it, they've actually blended three boats because this boat has a bass boat bottom and bass boat performance. I've seen this boat run. It is fast. It is quick. There ain't no question about that. It'll fly, but you can cross open water in it. The whole reason for having a bay boat is being able to cross choppy water and still get shallow. This one does both those things really very well. Okay, this is a serious contender because it'll float very skinny and yet the ride is sweet. Let's jump on this boat and look at some stuff we really like. Oh, right, hey, wait a minute. Let me show you something before we get on the boat, okay? This casting platform is massive. It matches a much bigger boat than one of this. Here's the reason why. Reach under here and feel how far this lip extends out to give you more area to fish off of. Neat concept. Well, not only do you get more area, before you can get wet in this boat, the water has to come up the hull and it has to clear that overhang. It's not going to happen. The overhang is going to knock it down. That's got to help you stay dry. All right, now let's check out the inside. Well, as soon as we jump up here, the first thing that comes to mind is this boat is for a guy who just cannot make up his mind. I don't know if I want a bass boat, I don't know if I want a flats boat, I don't know if I want a bay boat. You know what? He doesn't have to choose. This boat would do it all. I, I don't agree. When I jump on this boat, I see fish on, okay? The reason I say that is boats like these are all about light tackle fish. Fly fishing, big fish on light tackle, tarpon, bonefish, redfish, every kind of fish you need to chase up and down a gunnel, you can do it in this boat. This boat is a fishing machine. It absolutely is. I mean, you flats guys, they're going to want that. They're going to want the low cockpit. They're going to want the fact that they can store their rods underneath, even a big long fly rod. They're going to want to be able to run up and down the gunnels. A bass guy, he's going to want to sit up here with his buddy and flip jigs up into the trees. And a guy that wants to take the boat offshore is going to want this nice, big, wide deck to be able to clear that inlet on a decent day. Take it from a novice fly fisherman. You need this whole unobstructed area up here, or I'll get my fly line tangled on it. And the really cool part is, Dave, we got all this storage under here. So this is all functional space. But then it's so easy just to walk down the gunnels to get a midships or back to the back of the boat. Well, the overall design of the boat is really, really sleek, and the console matches it. I mean, look at the console. This is what you normally don't see in a bay boat, but it's laid back like that. It's high enough where you can stand up and drive comfortably, but if you're sitting down, you can still see over it, and that's what a great position for a long, long run. You just secure down inside the boat instead of standing up. Look, I rode this boat all morning. Let's take a closer look at that console. I got stuff I want to show you about the seating, too. One of the features of a flats boat, being able to walk the whole gunnel, you come back here, you start to find some of the features of a bay boat. Well, what I like about it is we're sitting low in the boat. This boat's capable of running over 70 miles an hour. At that speed, I don't want to be standing up. I want to be down, secure, inside the boat. I bet you half load is off at 70 miles an hour. I, yeah, it blow off a lot quicker than that, but I tell you what, this boat, it's got a great big pad on the back, much like a bass boat has, so we can handle those kind of speeds. A lot of bay boats out there, they're just not that fast. And one of the things that makes this boat so fast is as much room as we've got, as wide as the gunnels and everything are, we've got a much smaller wetted surface when this boat's running. Well, you really do. The boat's just a little bit over 22 feet long, but it's got a huge cockpit. It's got a nice big deck. They've done a great job with the overall cap layout of this boat. Well, when you get to where you want to be, you're not going to want to stay in these seats as comfortable as they are. We've got an excellent casting platform back here. Let's go take a look at some of the features. Great seating for four people, but look how fast we can turn it into a fishing boat. Hold your seats down, take your backrest and cushion off, twin live wells, plenty of room to cast, you're ready to go. Another thing I love about it is that rear hatch is completely removable. 
and that way you can get to all of your pumps and everything. So if you need to clear a pump, you need to work on anything, that lifts out of the way with the backrest off, you can actually kneel on this cushion. Super, super comfortable to maintain the boat. And then let's face it, the easier you can get to your systems, the better you're going to take care of your boat. And especially in the saltwater environment, that's ultra, ultra important. This boat is radically different. They named it the Ultimate Bay for a reason. It can go in really, really skinny water, cross a heavy bay to your next skinny water spot.